G'day tubular rosities, warbles on a lot here. This is my son's second chainsaw. He bought it when he was 14 with firewood sales. He's come to give me a hand at getting rid of some of the bushfire fuel hazard, which he's going to call firewood. But I want it gone before we get the first frost and all that lovely green grass that my neighbour doesn't own enough livestock to munch down turns into bushfire fuel hazard. Been having some trouble with the uh, chain oiling system. It uses crankcase pressure onto a diaphragm to pressurise the oil tank in order to force oil onto the bar. Last time he was up here, bloody thing kept jamming the bar, so Daddy had to give him wood. My son, the auto electrician. He might run with the rednecks. And I raised him on chainsaws. But he grew up on an endangered species sanctuary. I'm lucky enough that he comes home to my place to cut firewood for his place.
Okay, young fella me lad's just got his saw stuck. So now he's going to wedge it. He doesn't want daddy's crowbar. This is how it's done in the raising of a real good sun. Thus lifting the log off the ground with geometry. When he was 14, I took him to an RFS cross-cutting course. Initially, they didn't like the idea of it. After the first half day, they turned him into the instructor's exemplar dummy to show all us old farts how to do it. Increase the distance along the top edge of the log. While the bottom end of the log is still continuously connected. And what you do is you lift the bastard up off the ground with the wedges. And then once you get it up off the ground, you clear all the rocks and shit out of the way. Everything that's going to upset your chain. giving the bar a chance to cool down because that bloody oil food issue was not quite perfectly yet resolved. And sadly, when he was an infant, a neonate in nappies, Daddy was a tobacco smoker, so guess what he's role modelled on? On the bright side, his adolescent rebellion was to give up smoking pot and get a job. Miracles of modern communication technology. If you look in his right ear, you can see there's an earphone there. Here he is talking on the phone while he's waiting for his saw to cool down in the middle of cutting firewood. When he was a kid, anytime I was driving anywhere, I used to pre roll my hand rolled tobacco cigarettes and stick them in my hat band. So I could just reach up and pull them down and light them up while I was driving. It's a funny thing about being a parent. They role model on the good things you teach them. As well as the silly things. It's a funny thing about being a parent. In some way or another, positively or negatively, everything that you do and everything that they see is going to have an ongoing effect. Quarter past one on a Saturday afternoon. Out of wood cutting mode, and he's into bushfire captain mode. As well as chainsaws, young fella, me lad. I raised him up to be a firefighter. So now here he is in the middle of cutting a load of firewood. Okay, so the story is, out there at Rangers Valley on the horizon, they've got a haystack that's on fire. 
Dundee Brigade's been out there since early this morning. They're looking for a relief crew. So young fella, me lad, captain of Rediston Brigade is probably gonna have to go out there as soon as he finishes cutting and loading this one log. And I've been loading firewood for him since he was 13. So when he finishes cutting, that's when I come in. The logs apart. little bugger checking his fucking clock while he's working on the bloody firewood. Still got that oiling problem. Checking for chain oiling.
still having issues with the train oiling. As young fellow and me lad said, not a bad load. And his story is, he would have cut more, but he got a fire call. And there it is, you can see the fire from here. Smack dab centre on screen. Yep, right, Daddy now goes down to do the gate. The young fellow, me lad, going off to be uh, fire brigade captain rather than weekend woodcutter. Yeah, well, I was, I have it to offer you. I'll catch up. No worries, darling. Daddy loves you. Have a good one. I'm going to put a different hat on. Yes, <laughs> put a different hat on. No worries. See ya. See ya. Great minds think alike, eh? Unscripted. And I never suggested to him that line about the different hat. But it was kind of exactly what I was thinking. And it's a funny thing, you know, but that is the kind of experience. Can you see that fire there? Out there on the horizon? That is the kind of experience that an antinatalist never, ever gets to have. If you have kids and if you put the work in and if you try hard you can get to watch your offspring grow up to become an actual asset to human existence on the planet somebody who does good things yeah they might have a few foibles might get a few things wrong you know like he might smoke tobacco but he's a bloody good fire captain and he can cut his own firewood with the chainsaw that he's had since he was 14. Actually, I think he was 13 when he bought it. So there you go. Matthew cuts wood. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.